Bruce Galapani, I'm founder, director of the Rock Academy. My daughters came up from school one day and they said, Dad, uh, they're having a talent show at the school and they need volunteers. I volunteered and the rest is history. Favorite part of what I do is where I, I see there are a lot of kids like me when I was a kid that really having a hard time finding their place in society or with friends or just not fitting in. I didn't have many friends. I wasn't, you know, whenever I would meet new people, I was like the hide behind my parents' leg type person. I was one of those kids, you know. For me to, just to encourage students to, you know, do what they love, it was very important to me. The preparation for every rocket show is blood, sweat, and tears. We see who's compatible with each other and the different levels, the different styles of music they like playing. And then we choose a theme. About the first year of being in rocket, I was so shy and I didn't want to make friends. I was terrified. I was like, these people are, all look so experienced. You know, I was new. I was like, I, I maybe like 12 years old. I walked in, I was, you know, what, like 12 or 13? And everybody else was 16, 17 and 18 because I was one of the only people who played saxophone. I love that Bruce puts me on every single instrument that he possibly can. Oh, Rob, you can do? Harmonica on this? All right, do it. But Bruce, I don't know how to play harmonica. Learn it. Okay, I will. It's just such a big improvement and challenge for them. They see other students picking up other instruments and they start to learn other instruments. You want bopping? I know. I want feel. You I want, want feel, feel the music. All right, yeah. <laughs> Inside the rehearsal room is where you really learn how to play, how to work, how to work with a band. It can get a little competitive. I guess students are looking at the other students and they want, you know, more difficult songs, challenging songs. I hadn't been listening to older music until my first session. I was like, I kind of like this. So I started, you know, digging deep into other artists' discographies, like older music. Being around so many others that have the same interests as me, those people also have similar personalities knowing that I'm not the only person. Most of the people in Rocket weren't, you know, as extroverted and out there when they first joined from what I know at least. So it kind of gives you the sense that you're not alone when it comes to that stuff, that you can be yourself, that I've been myself for the past five years that I've been in this program and I've been able to get comfortable with all the other students. You look at these random names and you're like, I wonder what they're gonna be like. And then three sessions later, or not even, session later, you see that same person on your band and you get excited because you're like, that was, that's your best friend. 
I've seen miracles take place in this program, you know. We have an amazing group of teachers. It's very important that each teacher work with each student individually before coming in as a band. Justin and Justin have taught me things that I would have never thought about in music. The way that they have taught me over the years, the techniques that I've learned, the songs that I've been introduced yeah. to, they've even showed me some parts of my music taste that I would have never even thought about. We're really meticulous about how we work with the students and staying true to the integrity of the original artists and recordings that we're performing. The Bruce mindset is, don't worry about it. It'll work out. Two, three, four. And when it does work out, it'll work out in stars because we put in all the work before it. This is a life-changing experience for a lot of the students. I know when I was young and playing an instrument and performing live, it was definitely a life-changer for me. So this is something I'd like to share with all the kids. I don't even want to get emotional. <laughs> like, it's like everything to me. <laughs> I think as far as this organization is uh, concerned, it, it's, it's about one of the greatest I've ever been involved in. And uh, they learn so much and they are so talented. The teachers that are involved also, of course, have a lot to do with it. They've been teaching the right way. Rocket Academy teaches them how to read music, how to play rhythm, how to play lead, and be a musician. Showing that we can actually rehearse over eight or six weeks and then be able to play several songs before our appearance on a stage several times. Just the way that like, we can do that is the coolest part. I'd like, love to be there. Even if I'm not on lead vocals, it's like at least I'm there. Just being there is perfect. To be on stage is truly like the rush of a lifetime. If I'm playing for my family at Thanksgiving dinner or if I'm on the rocket stage. You realize how much better it is to work as a unit and to bring out the, the vocalist or the soloist or something else that you want to hear. It's this feeling of listening around you. Nothing yeah. like it. Each kid could come in and play three or four instruments, and there's no limit to it. And I have a theory that you never give up your instrument. You just add another one to it. Look at these faces. Let's hear it for our kids one more time. because I want to be a musician, like this is what I want to do. Last song for the night, needs no introduction. Reload, like an atom bomb. students for being a blessing in my life. I truly mean that. This is a song on the credits roll. <laughs> 